How's it going guys? Welcome to a new progress video on the Iron Man account. As for today, the only plan is agility. The last time I recorded I was 56 agility in the last video obviously, but I haven't recorded since and I have recently got 61 and I'm not actually that far now from 62. Anyway, since last video I have done a few bit of quests, just the very few easy ones, just wanted to get them out of the way and a little bit of XP. I think I did Fight Arena which gave me some attack XP or something like that. And probably going to do a few more later on today as well. Um, but yes, that is the plans for today. Just a little bit of agility. I want to eventually obviously get Elf City requirement for agility, which is 75, I believe. Don't know if you can boost it or not, but I'm not going to really bother because I'm going to obviously want to do Elf City agility anyway. So um, yeah, getting a 75 might be a bit of a pain though. And as far as woodcutting teaks go, I was going to stay there for a long time, but I decided I don't really want to AFK on my Iron Man right now. I'm going to AFK on my other account, obviously. I'm doing some rune span right now. Um, so I decided not AFK on this account because I never really AFK on two accounts, just AFK on one and pay attention on the other. So as of right now, I do some agility. Once I play on my other account again, I will go back to Teaks. But I did chop about uh, just about 2,000, a little bit over 2,000 Teaks like I guess so far. I set my XP goal to gain 1 mil wood cutting XP and I gained, you know, 190k so far. Right, I'll probably change my default clothes sometime soon because this looks ugly as fucking shit. But anyways, besides the point, 62 utility, I'll see you guys in a bit with, uh, I don't know how high I'll get this, but gonna go for maybe 400k agility XP today or something like that, we'll see how we do. Oh, Ken, this isn't agility, you already fucking rage quit. No, guys, I looked up a few quests I wanted to do, and um, one of them is, uh, what's it called, uh, Between a Rock. I need 50 smithing for that one, and I just noticed I was actually 48 anyways. And I believe on this account it's probably worth actually changing the thing. It's like 10% more XP or 11% more, whatever it is. Um, but yes, they got 66 agility, 32k till 67. My goal is 70 at the end of the day. I gained 230k so far today. I think I woke up at like 3 p.m. It's now 10 p.m. So past seven hours I've done that. And uh, yes, yeah, smithing is uh, 5k now to level. And I had like 140 iron ore. I could have sworn, I don't know if this is a glitch. You guys saw me click on chest plate, right, a few minutes ago. And if I can continue making helms, what the hell? But yeah, I looked up the quest where you get a dragon pickaxe, because I would like to get that in the future whenever I do get my mining up. And uh, yeah, I actually have the requirements for the quest besides the quest requirements, which is like, I think three or four more quests I gotta do. Though I don't know if I'll be able to camp that area just because I would probably need to get a bone crusher and demon horn necklace on this account before I do things like that. So yeah, I'll see you guys soon. All right. Was training agility, some fucking came trained agility and then attacked me all of a sudden. I'm gonna fucking kick his ass. Anyways, as we run up here to kill our prey guys, I do uh, have a little update to do my quest I did between a rock and then uh, the giant dwarf quest, whatever the hell it was called. Fucking at the ending you have to like get a bunch of ores and obviously on a regular account you can just buy them in the GE, but I had to chase around roots, keep getting ores and fucking bars. I only brought this much food because I'm going to assume I can pick up the cavefish I lost unless he picked it up. Get my prayers open, let's fuck this bitch up. Though I'm not sure if I attack him now, will I skull? Because I don't really want to risk one of these. There he is. Little bitch. There we go, boys. I don't really care. Honestly, let's just go for it. Come here, little bitch. Oh, I am skulled. That's not good. Misclick my fucking asshole, bitch. I'm going to fuck you up right now. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on, you mother bitch. Come on, take off his prayer. Oh, I don't, I don't like how I'm scald right now. This is not good. This is not good. I am scald. Yes. Yes, boys. Yes. Yeah, that's right, you little bitch. You better run, you little bitch. Misclick my ass, so I'm gonna make this guy lose his fucking Ava. This is not good though. There we go. Here you go, bitch. Take this damage. Sky, yeah, 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 right here, bitch. Sit down, motherfucker. That's right. Okay, I'm good. Mm -hmm. You little piece of shit. Ah, I just killed him with this avatar. I'm pretty sure he's fucked now. Yeah, buddy, that motherfucker was maxed. Let me see if my cavefish is down here. Damn it! Now I gotta go bank because I'm fucking scald. That's not cool. That motherfucker, by the way, did not misclick, because I went down this pipe, and he chased me down the damn pipe and attacked me way over there. There's no way you can misclick that bad. You mother, have fun getting your Ava back, by the way, bitch. Actually, I don't really know too much about Avatars, but I'm pretty sure he can't get it back for another six hours, I believe. So, haha. 
cue Thug Life song right now while I run back to the bank. Yeah. All right, boys. I can tell someone's about to come and try to PK me because he attacked me last time and I just killed him. And I can tell he's back. Here he is, little slime ball. Come here, boy. All right, here we go. Hide and protect. Eat up. Eat up. We're going to take this guy out. Watch this shit. Oh, he's fucking mage praying. Don't worry, I can take down your mage prey because this motherfucker's in legacy. Here we go. Here we go, buddy. This is what happens when you win legacy. Come on. Go underneath him. I have no idea what he could hit on me because he's in legacy. Cause legacy's pretty fucking OP, but most of the time it's just for barrage. Gonna stun you and then I'm going to just take you out. Uh, oh, he can still eat during my stun. Wait, I know which stun he can't eat during, though. Alright, let's just do this. <laughs> what an embarrassment. <laughs> fucking comes back trying to kill me. Oh boy. I fucking love the wildy, man. I fucking love it. This is basically how EOC works. I myself am really shitty at using abilities. I'm not that great. I'm beginning a little bit better since I started doing war bands. But for people that are completely clueless about abilities and just shit like that, you can just rape them. One on one fight, EOC versus Legacy, you'll never win in Legacy. Unless you get a very lucky AGS spec or a very lucky consistent barrage hit or some shit. But I think the more powerful stun, which is this one, is it makes it so they can't eat if they are stunned, I guess? I didn't know exactly how it works in Legacy though, to be honest. Anyway, so that's about the record soon anyways, because I am 1.3k, be 900 XP after this lap or so, till level 69 agility, which is pretty sweet. So far today, 383k XP, and I still have roughly 4 hours or so left in my day. Gonna actually stay up until it's breakfast time and go get some breakfast, so that's fucking thug life right there. I kind of wish old, or not just old school, I kind of wish RS3 eventually brought out rooftop agility like a long time ago, but um, yeah, basically agility on old school, I think, until you get to Elf City, it's actually faster on old school than it is on RS3 because like rooftops. I'm pretty sure Sears is faster and that's level 60 agility. Polyvinch is way faster at 70 than this place is. And then once I get 75, I guess I guess I get Elf City. So rip, my adrenaline is just pumping. I want that guy to come back so I can kick his ass again. Fucking fell, GG. What a poor guy though, man. He came back, potted up, prayed up, got ready to kill me, and fucking legacy. Good job. This should be it, boys. Level 69. Yeah, there it is. One more level till I can use the Towerly Pipe, which is probably one of the best things to ever achieve, honestly, at the lower level agility levels. Um, because that, well actually on RS3 doesn't save that much time or energy because I believe you can run all the way around without running out of energy fully or you'll almost be out of energy or something like that. But nonetheless, 70 would be pretty nice. Might consider doing Blue Dragon Slayer attacks, I guess, since I can just kind of bank quickly and stuff like that. I did them when I didn't have 70 agility and it wasn't that horrible of a task, uh, but it'd be nice to be able to go through the pipe and then I can maybe bank the bones and the hide and get some good prayer XP and crafting XP-ish later on. Anyways, I'll see you guys in about uh, about two hours or so with 70 agility, and I will possibly do a quest here and there. I'm, I might consider doing some of the Glorifine, whatever you want to call it, quest series, where the path of Glorifine, the eye of Glorifine, and then later on the prisoner. Um, just so eventually, once I get Elf City unlocked, I can right away finish up to part two of the Elf City task, and then I can start hunting my Grenwells. What did 69 of an unlock? Oh, I don't even know what quest that is. This is a quest that requires 69 agility that's not Elf City. Damn, I don't know what the hell that is. Anyways, like I'm sorry there's a lot of agility clips in this video, but hey, two kills, this is great. Hopefully the other half of this video will be me doing other things. So I'll see you guys then. All kinds of gains in this bitch. Well, guys, if I don't fail this right here, there we go. I believe this will be the level. Yes! All my is that a big here? Ooh, he's got a black Sally. Nah, fuck, I'm not gonna PK anyone. But anyways, there's 70 agility boys, thank god. Just got back down from taking the sh- God damn it. Alright, now as you see the port book in my inventory, I have no idea this guy's gonna try to kill me, so I'm just gonna eat up one more time. Kinda wanna finish the last lap here and get some XP, though I will be back in the future for the last, uh, I guess, five levels. Get that shit to 75. And actually, one thing I'm gonna quickly go do right now is get an herbal level, I'm gonna do my jack of traits, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Fucking don't attack the wolf. Get out of here. But yeah, as far as port school, I'm still very far from any higher tier uh, things. I've been on this stage ever since I was like 92 fishing, which was like three or so months. I haven't touched ports for a very long time. 
But I am refusing to go up any more um, regions because I actually want to stay in this one. Because I have been collecting quite a bit of plate and like other missions where I get all the uh, resources for the armors. So um, yeah, I might just stay in this region for a, while, for a little while. Even though this won't be in English, we will see. It's going to say somewhere, Taverly something. This one's probably the Taverly one, 70. Yeah, I'm going to assume it's that one, so pretty sweet. And of course, Jacket Trades time. I do need to rearrange my jacket trades as I just kind of found whatever I could whenever I was in like a foreign world, so, um, fucking phone, do not die on me. But there it is, as slow as I possibly could, and a little bit less than two minutes, which is still pretty decent, but it can definitely come less than a minute for sure, and use this on herb blower and get the lovely 51 herb blower. Not too bad. Unfortunately, I don't have much money to buy runes, so I can't really use beeswax every day on this. I'd much rather use my beeswax on the daily challenges. Look like a fucking retard in Legacy holding these things. What the hell? Refix this, Jax. This looks stupid as shit. I mean, they're not even like parallel. They're just like one's shooting that way. What the fuck? No wonder people don't like this game that much. The one thing I do with my uh, my hood these days is I just go to either. Well, I already have like thirty thousand air runes, as you guys can see. That's literally just from using my wicked hood every single day. I'm going to start using it on the other runes so I can use these runes for my Jack of Trades because the struggle of my 490 GP right now is very little. If I go back to Slayer, I could definitely have a lot more, but I just want to work on some skills for right now. So get some get some runes from this, and then I will use these later on for my beeswax. All right, now it's time to do, I believe, Forgottable Tail Quests, and then the Dwarven something after that. And then we have basically Dragon Pickaxe unlocked, but I'm not too sure if we're going to camp those things yet. So... Let's go make some progress. 